What's good, YouTube? It's Two Wavy, my brother Jamel, coming at you with another mail time reaction video. And today we're gonna be reacting to Danielle Brigoli, Bad Baby. Let's get it started. First of all, let me say this. She was, I think she's either like 14, she's between like 14 and 16 years old. Okay. And she got her fame off of Dr. Phil disrespecting her mom on live television. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I'm not even gonna hype this song up, to be honest with you, just because of the image that she's portraying to the kids. Right, right, right. And I know we make funny reaction videos and stuff like that, but I feel like we should have a serious conversation right now. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. This is not Wavy to Jamel. This is Justin to Jamel. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All so, we gave is government. All right, we about to get, <laughs> we about to get official right there. <laughs> so what I want to say is, um, I feel like a lot of these little girls look up to her. You know what I'm saying? As kind of a role model. Right. And... The reason why this hits kind of close to home for me is because, like, the rappers back in, you know, like, Lil Wayne and stuff like that, right. they, like, I was impressionable. As a kid, you know, growing up, you trying to figure out who you are in life and stuff like right, that. Right, right. So, that being said, when I was in middle school, going from 8th grade to ninth grade, um, I was thinking about joining the game. You know uh, what I'm saying? What? Yeah, yeah, I think we had this conversation before. I don't know if I told you or whatever. Uh, okay, how you going to say we had this conversation before and then say, well, I don't know if you told me? I don't remember if I told you or not. <laughs> then we didn't have this conversation before. Oh, okay, okay. But yeah, that was because, you know, I was making a transition going from middle school to high school and stuff like that because that's when you're most impressionable and things like that. But also, somebody that I liked a lot or looked up to kind of was like Lil Wayne. And Lil right, Wayne right, right, right. blood, this, that, and the third. Come to find out he wasn't really about that life anyway. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. So long story short is, I just, 
I don't know. I don't I don't really know how I feel about this. It's just like little girls look up to her and want to be her. And if they see her as an example, like, okay, this is what she did to get famous. Right. Maybe I should do that too. That was people, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Other people going to copy. Mm -hmm. But to get back on what you were saying, you act like you was making a transition. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. you said from middle school to high school, we act like you was in prison. Like you needed to join the game <laughs> to keep you safe. But, but you had going with all that. It's not even that. It was kind of like as a cool thing. You know right, what I'm right. saying? Like, like, okay, you try to figure out who you are in life, what you're going to do. You want to fit in with the, with these right. kids and the cool right. kids and stuff like that. So people may, or little kids may be impressionable um, and look up to this little girl right. and be like, okay, well, this is cool. Or this is what cool right. is. And, it's and, really see, not. and that's the thing. As a, as a father, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? As parents worldwide, we got to make sure that, you know what I'm saying, we are the role models to our children. You see mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And we can't let stuff like this go unchecked. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. if we let our children just absorb all of this negative stuff that they see, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. that's going to become a part of them. So as parents, we got to mm -hmm. make sure we're on top of our children and we got to be their first role models. Well, but you got to look at it from a child's aspect or younger person aspect even the way that i feel now in my life right and it's it's the fact okay you have this little girl you know no disrespect to her right but she's doing kind of ignorant stuff mm-hmm and she's getting glorified she's famous she's getting money for doing that right versus somebody who actually goes to school yeah gets an edu education and working hard, at yeah. walmart yeah, that's true working at a retail store not that's making true. any money but see that's the problem with the world when like it's back you know it is back because the most ignorant thing gets the most praise, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And a person who works really, really dedicates himself and works hard, mm -hmm. they don't get no recognition, you know what I'm exactly. saying? It's crazy that it's like that, but this is the world. And that's what I'm saying, like, she comes a dime a dozen with these, you know what I'm saying, being disrespectful mm -hmm. and, you know what I'm saying, acting like that. There's a million videos out there like that. So, parents, you really need to, you know what I'm saying, monitor with your kids, you know what I'm saying, yeah. listening to and watching, you know what I'm saying, because they really gonna look up to her and think that's cool, you see mm -hmm. what I'm saying, because right. she's, you know what I'm saying, she's actually, she was being disrespectful and she's benefiting from being disrespectful, exactly. which is crazy that, she's being this, exactly, but it's crazy that this, your society embraces that, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying, yeah. if society turned their back on that type of behavior, then we wouldn't be watching her video right now. Yeah, I mean, see, the thing is, like, I don't get, I don't get serious too often, but I really do feel like this is a topic that we need to touch on because, like, when I first seen her be disrespectful to her mom on Doctor Phil, it was, it was, <laughs> like, it was crazy. That became a meme. Wow. And then people just started, okay, like reposting it and reposting it and stuff like Cause that. Cause you know what would have happened. If we talk like oh, that right tomorrow, know. Yeah, you, you know, know what I'm saying? We, that it would be right there, like, what would you say? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it would have been a wreck, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> He'd be knocked out sleep. To get Dr. Phil, like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Y'all got to call ICU and set yeah. up a bed for us, because yeah. we going to be in there for a minute. <laughs> we ain't coming home no time soon, You for already real. know, you already know. But yeah, it's just crazy to me, man, this generation and stuff like that. You know, if you're over 18, do your thing. Live your life and exactly. stuff like that. But little girls are really looking up to her. You exactly. know, she got the nails done. She got the little skimpy outfit yeah. on. Come on, man. That's not that's not a good look at all. No, now when you got, you know what I'm saying, 12, 13, 14 year old girls looking at her, be like, yo, that's what they want to be like. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? A child's first role model should be their parent. You know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. as a parent, you got to make but sure guess what? you set that but, positive but, example. Was she riding in the ben Bentley? I yeah, she's riding, yeah, she riding in the Bentley. Yeah, riding in the Bentley. Is, is anybody's parents riding in the Bentley? And that, you know or what I'm regular saying? Regular parents riding in the but, Bentley. So are you gonna look up to your parents, or are you gonna look up to a little but, girl riding in the Bentley? Well, that's why, as parents, you gotta say on top of that, where your child don't, doesn't become materialistic to where they gonna want to be in the Bentley. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So, so even if you are gonna want to be in the Bentley, at least try to earn it. The exactly, right way. They, exactly. Not like that. Not disrespecting your parents. You know what I'm saying? Because that's crazy. Yes. And I know, I wouldn't take that from my kids. Mm -hmm. And my, our parents, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Our parents not gonna take that from us. Mm -hmm. And we, you know what I'm saying? We, we got our head knocked yeah, off. Yeah, you know? yeah, and I know a lot of kids out there can relate to that. Yeah. Talk crazy to your parents <laughs> if you want to. That's and it. see what happens. Yeah, it's over. That's it. And you know what I'm saying? And start crying, and they gonna tell you, I'm gonna give you a real reason to cry like this, but you just beat the crap out of me. I thought that was the reason when, when, why I was crying, you know what I'm saying? Like, I thought that was the reason why I was crying, but you talking about I was gonna get worse than this? So, you know, so that's Next thing you know, you balled up on the floor crying, you lip know what I'm saying? Oh, you got that lip shaking, you know what I'm saying? 
<laughs> and you got that heavy breathing, you try to catch your breath, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shoot, mess around if you want. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> But yeah, that's pretty much it though. That's all I wanted to say about that particular video. That's why I'm not even gonna hype it up. I mean, I mean it had an okay beat and stuff like that. Production was alright. But you know, I just felt like we should have that serious conversation. Um, but shout out to all of our subscribers and followers yes. that, that have been following us. Um, supposedly we were supposed to get hit with Hurricane Irma and everything was cool. Yeah, I did, was, yeah, did yeah. a lot of work, took stuff down, and now I gotta <laughs> go out there and put stuff back up. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? There so, was really no damage done, so we're good, nah, man. Yeah, we're good now. But you know what? Shout out, you know what I'm saying, to the people who really did, you know what I'm saying, Houston, us, Florida, yeah. you know what I'm saying, and even parts of Georgia, you know what I'm yep. saying, got hit hard, so you know, we want to give you guys a shout out, yep. hope everything's alright, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying, you get back on your feet, for real. Definitely, for real. definitely be praying for you, and thank y'all for keeping us in y'all prayers as well, yeah, um, definitely. on our live stream, we got a lot of support and love from y'all, so we appreciate exactly. that. Um, but that's pretty much it, comment, like this video, subscribe, it's Too Wavy and my brother Jamel, Mail Time checking out, deuces.